It's the Sunday video time to do a video about some answers and then some questions or maybe we need to flip that, yeah. Hello everybody, it's the Sunday Q&A video. We had some questions this week. I'm really, uh, really excited about that. Stay tuned to the end because I'm going to talk about the live Q&A. Um, yeah, if you're curious about that. But okay, I'm going to just get into the questions. Um... How old am I? I am 31 years old. I am sad to say because I am a 31 year old who still plays with toys and the first aisle I go to at the grocery store is the toy aisle and I spend most of my money on toys if when possible. Yeah. So yeah, 31 years old. Um, my favorite ride at Fiesta Texas, I would have to say would be the gully washer. Just because you know when it's hot which it's always hot. It's nice to get on and then get, get you know, soaked. And then you can walk around the park. And then, you, you know, it's just it's just nice. You know what I mean? There's not, no no real drops or anything like that. So it just it just cools you off. It's really great. Yeah. Um, do I collect things? Um, I collect comic books. But when I moved um, from California back to Texas, I had to stop my pull list. So, um... As soon as Brandy gets back and we get all situated back in our own place, I am going to start that back up. But it also, because we had a pull list, it really wasn't like hunting. It was kind of like hunting when you set up the blind and you feed the things and you just go and you shoot your deer when they're eating. So there was really no hunt involved with comic book collecting, which is the part that I love. So now that we had to stop the pull list for a couple of months, going back and finding like specific covers and, you know, hunting um, at the little comic shows that I could find around town and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be really, really fun. And I'm really looking forward to that. So, yeah. Why do I love buffaloes? Well, I don't know. I was thinking, I, I got that. When I read that question, I was thinking to myself, I don't know, why do you like buffaloes? And I've been thinking about it for a week um, now. And I have to say, I think I like buffaloes because of the movie Dances with Wolves. Right? Because that's like one of my go-to top ten movies. You know, there's there's the movies that I love, like the Ghostbusters and the Back to the Futures and stuff like that. Um, but then there's the move, the films that I like to just put on and just watch. And it's just, they're just fun. Even though, like, like Kevin Costner is not, like, the best actor, in, in my opinion. It seems like all his dialogue in his movies are, like, read like an author would write them, you know, um, I was watching, like, well, in Dancing with Wolves, he's, he's writing his diary, and he's like, you know, I have enough supplies for three days, I hope some more will come soon, I enjoy the time out here on the plains, there's a wolf that stopped by, like, that kind of stuff, and that, that, trans, that, that's just how he acts, and then I watched the Wyatt Earp movie that he was in, and, you know, it's the same exact thing, only he's not writing. He's just like, you look very beautiful today, if I may say. And it's just, like, really, like, weird, but Dances with Wolves is one of my favorite movies. You know, the Indians and the, the they, they go to the hunt and the buffalo. And it's, and I think that's why I, I really like buffaloes. I, that's the only thing I could, I could think of. Yeah, buffaloes. That's because of that movie. That's, I, I guess. Um, thank you to everybody who's saying, you know, congratulations on getting your new place. I didn't get a new, I'm not in a new place. I'm in a new place, but it's not my place. My mom moved into a new place. She had an open room. I jumped on it, basically. I was like, let, let me get out of here. Everything was fine at Brandy's dad's house. It, you know, it's just the, he smoked a lot. So, like, all of our clothes and stuff smelt like smoke and it was getting kind of like I was starting to get congested and stuff like that and you know I would I would open up my adventure bag or I would grab my adventure bag in the morning and I would go somewhere and I would grab it out of the car and open it and it would just smell like smoke so I had to get out of there um it's nice I'm right now I'm in a tiny little room at my mom's tiny little room I it's just it's super tiny uh, it's about the size of my office at my house, so I'm just practicing. I got me a little futon here for me and Jude to sleep on, which is way bigger than the bed that we were sleeping on at Brandy's dad's house, so we really enjoy that. I have a desk right here so I can do my editing and stuff. The internet is coming on Monday, so I won't have to drive to my dad's house, which is super close to where I am now, 
to upload videos like this one. Um, but yeah, but this is just, you know, one step closer to getting into my house. I mean, I'm, it's rent free too, so I, I can't complain. Uh, but yeah, not really decorating too much. I had to put something on the walls because it was a little plain Jane. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm at my mom's, 31 years old, living at my mom's. But this is the thing. I have two cars. I own my own house. I'm just waiting for the people who live in it to move out. And that's going to, the latest that they're going to do that is September 1st. So almost a month away, going to be moving again. But when I say when me and Jude are moving, we, we have one big suitcase that we put all our clothes into. And then I just grab his toys. And I, that's, that's really it. We've been living out of a suitcase for, since we moved back to Texas, really. So it's going to be nice to get back into our own place. Like here, my mom's never home. My, my brother lives here, Charlie, who, you know, I filmed him and he was trying to poop that one time. Uh, and I made fun of him. Uh, he lives here, but they're never here. Charlie's a gym rat. He's always at the gym. As you can tell in the videos, he does his little boop, 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 boop. Um, he's always in the gym. My mom's always working. Um, so it's basically practice for me and Drew to be living on our own because we don't know yet if Brandy's going to be moving back here full time or she's going to keep traveling. It's, it's just all up in the air still. So yeah, we're just trying to figure out life, right? I think that's what everybody's trying to do. Um, but yeah. Okay. Enough of that. Let's get on to... Oh, yeah, and I also got... My mom has these, like, whiteboards because she's, like, a manager at some restaurants. So she has whiteboards all over the place with, like, schedules and stuff. So I stole one and I hung it in my room behind my door so when she opens the door, she can't see it. But I have my Adventures of the Week little thing with the with the days of the week and the days that I'm doing my calendar. So I'm getting more, getting more scheduled and stuff like that so I know what I'm doing for the week so I don't have to wake up and go, what am I doing? I don't need an adventure. Everybody, all my online friends are counting on me to go on an adventure and I don't know what I'm going to do. That's the worst thing about vlogging. You can start vlogging, you have all these great ideas, and you're doing all these things, and then all of a sudden you're like, "Well, I already went to the Alamo. Well, I went to the missions. I went to the zoo already. I guess I could go again." But that's like, Ugh. 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 but anyway, yeah, have that up. I have some fun things going on this week. I might see, an, I might see a buffalo. I'm just saying, I might see another buffalo this week. Um, but yeah, I have my plan set up. Um, we're just in limbo right now, really, waiting to get back into our house. When we get back into our own house, I'm sure things will get better as far as, like, me being able to travel and going farther away from San Antonio. Because right now I'm kind of stuck in San Antonio because Jude's in school, and he's in school from 9 to 3. So I basically have to drive him to school, and then whatever I can get done by, you know, 1 o'clock is what I can do. And then I have to go back and pick him up. So it's kind of, it kind of puts a limit on the distance that I can drive away from San Antonio. And then next week, his school schedule, he's only going to go to school for two days. So i got to juggle him around and see what's going on. Because as much as you guys love him in the videos, the places that I go aren't always Jude friendly. And he likes to, he as much as he likes to be on camera, he likes to complain that he wants to go home and play with his pad. And he, I, get, I got him one of those leap pad thingy so it's educational but uh, yeah it's difficult with a child but anyway live Q&A next Sunday I'm gonna do it at noon central time and I might even do one a little later maybe around 7 central time for everybody else I'm just gonna jump on for you know as long as maybe an hour if people even log on I don't know and I'll just answer questions and we can talk or whatever I've never done this before so yeah, I might have to do it at my dad's, depending on how good the internet is here, because I literally live out in the middle of nowhere with my mom, and it's going to be satellite internet, so I don't even know how, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to upload from here, but I I really hope that I can, because the tower is literally, I can like throw a stick at the internet tower, so it, I should be, I don't know how the satellite works, but I know it's not as fast as other internets that I've had before. Which is another reason I'm looking forward to getting back in my house. But anyway, next live Q&A next Sunday. I'm going to do two, I think. One at noon central time. And one at seven central time. Yeah, so join me if you would like. And ask me some questions. And 
yeah, this should be interesting. I'm going to have, I might have Jeff come over and help me like read the questions and I might have my sister that I'd like to see other questions and make sure everything's going well, but I might have to do it with my dad. So I don't know. We might, we might be grilling something. Maybe. I don't know. I know y'all want me to do another cooking show. I'm going to do one of those next week, not this week coming up, but after the live Q and A, there should be a cooking show somewhere in there. So Yes, thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody who goes on the Patreon. Thank you for everybody who subscribes. I'm a, As of right now, I'm 11 people away from going up to the top of the Tower of the Americas, which is terrifying to me, but I have my GoPro rig set up. I'm going to put the head. I'm going to have a head um, mount set up so you guys can see what I'm seeing, and I might put that at the bottom corner of the video um, so you guys can see that the whole t while I'm filming and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it should be fun and interesting. Um, I haven't even looked at any videos about the, the top of the Tower of the Americas just because I don't want it to be spoiled for me. I, just, I know other people have been up there, but I just want to experience it for mine without anybody else's input put into it. So it should be fun. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for Patreoning. Thanks for you, thank you for people who bought Oscars Odyssey t-shirts. I saw some of them in pictures from... Uh, Justin group did the uh, meetup at the Walt Disney Museum in San Francisco. That was cool to see pictures, and I saw my shirt in there. That, so that was awesome. Thank you guys for everything. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.